Welcome to McKechnie Field. Ben Ingram here. This is McKechnie Field at Lacom Park, and we want to continue our tour of the Grapefruit League ballparks here in Florida. Ben Ingram will be joined by Kevin McAlpin here in just a moment. We're your SunTrust On Up reporters. This is a ballpark that opened in 1923. The Pirates have been here since 1969. It's gone through multiple renovations in that span of time. And actually, if you want to go way back in time, the Boston Braves and previously Boston Bees actually trained here in the 30s and early 40s. So the Braves franchise spent some time here a long, long time ago. But let's pan over here. You can see the teams taking BP right now. This would be the Pirates taking BP. And at one point, the ballpark was just the grandstand area. But over the last few years, they have added this boardwalk, which extends from foul pole to foul pole. And now you can walk all the way around this ballpark. They have a nice covered uh, shaded area with stands out in the left field. But a really nice place to watch a baseball game here in Bradenton, Florida, not too far from the beach. And as I mentioned, the Pirates have been coming here since 1969. And over the years, they made some updates to this ballpark that we'll show you over the next few moments. So now at field level here at McKechnie Field, Lacombe Park, home of the spring training Pirates. And during the regular season, the Florida, the, uh, Florida State League Marauders play here. I believe that's their name, the yeah. Bradenton Marauders. So we enjoy coming over here. Number one, if you're going to be coming to this ballpark, make sure you bring sleeves because the wind is always howling here right off the water. And number two, make sure you bring some cash because they have all sorts of great concessions that we like to partake in here. But altogether, a really fun place along our stop here in the Grapefruit League. Yeah, Ben, this is a cool ballpark. And as you mentioned, all the renovations that they've done here to McKechnie Field over the last few years, great places to watch the game. There's a boardwalk out in the outfield, a couple of bars down the left field line. So uh, it's it's an old ballpark, but uh, you can tell that the renovations they've done have really modernized this place. This is a fun stop for us. Let's go check out the outfield boardwalk. So as you can see, this is the boardwalk area. This extends all the way around the outfield wall. This is something they put up. I'm not sure exactly when, maybe in the last three or four years. I know since we've been coming here, we've noticed that being a really cool addition to this ballpark. A ballpark with a lot of history, a lot of canopies, plenty of seating, and a really good spot right off the beach. So as we continue around from left field to center field, a good look at the boardwalk area here at McKechnie Field in center field. Pirates out there taking batting practice as we speak. And great place to watch a game. You can take a look. There's uh, all kinds of high top seating out here in center field. Great view of all the action right behind you. You can continue on to right field. More of a high top bar seating here as well. So uh, the Braves will probably see a lot more of McKechnie Field here in the coming years, obviously with the team moving to Sarasota County and Northport, Florida in 2019. Expect to see a lot more Pirates, a lot more Orioles on the schedule. And I know some folks have wondered, well, why is the team moving out of Central Florida? Well, when you look at a map, Central Florida really is becoming uh, almost an island unto itself right now for Braves uh, spring training. They have the Tigers right down the road in Lakeland, but so many teams now on the coast. So with the team getting out of Central Florida and moving to the West Coast, you'll pl certainly see plenty more of, of ballparks like this. And uh, in Sarasota, Tampa, Clearwater, Dunedin, a lot more West Coast teams on the schedule for the Braves starting in 2019. So I hope you enjoyed our tour of McKechnie Field, Lacombe Park, home of the Bradenton Marauders during the regular season and the spring training home of the Pittsburgh Pirates since 1969. Good little ballpark. If you're ever coming down to spring training, you want to check out another few ballparks, this would be a good one to have on the list, Kevin. About an hour, hour and a half away from uh, Brave Spring Training in Disney, but a really good place to uh, stop along the way. It is. It's cool. And these are you know some of the fun places for us to visit. You know, it's one thing when you see – those new facilities that are modernized, but you see a place like this, it's been around a long time. Uh, there's a lot of history in this ballpark as well. So you kind of get both down here. You get some of the older facilities that uh, have been around a long time like this one, and then the newer ones like JetBlue Park that we saw and some of the other ones around the state of Florida. So I like coming here. I wish we came here a little more often. And like I said earlier, I think we will here in a couple years. Yeah, we'll be making this definitely a, uh, a stop along the way two or three times a spring once the Braves move down to Northport. Well, the next time we come to you, we'll be coming to you from Jupiter, Florida. That's the spring training home of the Cardinals and the Marlins. Braves will be taking on those guys uh, over the course of spring training, but down in Jupiter this Saturday against the Cardinals, and we'll give you a tour of that facility at that point. Till then, for Kevin, I'm Ben from McKechnie Field in Bradenton, Florida. Have a good one.